Hi guys, this is Breaker, and I'm back casting my all-time favorite member of EXE, that would be Dire Strait. Now, if you guys would so kindly, please click on the uh, subscribe button. It should be flashing throughout the entire video. And may I just say, Hots has some of the best music I've heard in a long time. This is Complexity Trimaster that he's, that he's playing against in the lower right-hand corner. Yes. And in the upper right-hand corner... I give you none other than EXC's very own, I want to say, best amateur in the making, Dire Strait. In fact, he's so Imba that you can have one drone following another another drone's tail for a split second and still win. That's a you know a bit of a small income difference for a while. In fact, it sets off his tenth his tenth drone for just a moment. And speaking of drone, he's going to use one to scout. I like this move a lot, actually. Um, you know, when you are when you, when you do an expo, especially one as risky as, say, a 15-15, and by 15-15, I mean 15 hatch first, not 15 pool first, um, you definitely want to make sure you know what your opponent is doing, because if he throws down gas first and then follows it up with, say, a spawning pool, you might be in some trouble. <coughs> I also gotta say, uh, well, this one small criticism I do have of him is that he's sending out his, I don't know what you would call this, kick-ass lord to the left side of the map instead of perhaps to the south first. And then I would have sent my drone that way, but at any rate, he's actually arrived on the scene and he he's doing a good job of annoying his opponent. His own hatch is getting just a few seconds ahead of his opponent and every single second can make the difference in a... Uh, mirror matchup, ZVZ certainly being no exception to that rule. Okay, and this is where you pull the drone and just say, oh, ouch, that hurt. But of course, his his own his own hatch is now 25 seconds ahead of that of uh, his own. That no, Dire Straits own hatch is 25 seconds ahead of Colonel. Excuse me, Complexity Trimasters. You know, it's one of the weirdest things, guys. Back in the day, I used to. I used to call the complexity team um, Colonel because that's what COL typically stands for in my mind anyway. And um, there's this player back in the day. His name is Katz, and he's still pretty good. You know, he's still pretty active. Who am I kidding? He's still a very active member of Root. Um, but back in the day when he was on complexity team, I always thought of him as Colonel Katz. You know, it's just like, well, I mean, think about it. He's one of those guys with authority, right? I mean. Once you look at him that way, once you think of him that way. But now we have Metabolic Boost ready to go for our Red Zerg already. I guess that's the only the only deficiency with Dyer's play, but it's ahead of his by about 15 seconds. Not too terribly critical. And if we check the income right now, I want to say that Dyer... Uh, never mind, I was going to say that Dyer's ahead, but... Actually, he will be soon enough because his opponent is cranking out links to basically scout him, see what's going on. It looks like there was a pause in the middle of this, like there was some kind of lag, or maybe he had to take care of something. Maybe he had to fix his broken headset. And he says, oh, you got very good manner. You know, that kind of thing. Of course, pro gamers, come on. It's just going to look bad on them if they, un they unpause the game in the middle of the ladder match, but... Alright, so... Trimaster is actually cranking out a few more links. I think he's... Yeah, he's ready to go on the offensive with these. Definitely. If we look at how many are out on the map right now, it's uh, 14... Ooh, 14 lanes against zero for Dire Strait. He's actually in some tough stuff right about now. And he's even chill enough to try and pull up some conversation with uh, Complexity Trimaster, but the question is, is he ready? Wow. Custom Ling skins. Okay, I'll have to remember that. Oh, uh, but uh, this is looking pretty dangerous. Just what do we have for Dyer? Can he actually hold this? Does he have a Baneling Nest? Oh my god, this will definitely be one of those games. My god, flying lean skins looking really nice. And he actually pulls out enough links to hold against this and push back at the same time. I just want to remark that it's really interesting. I actually thought I saw two completely different Ling skins in the mains. Like, one of them was actually the primal uh, Zerglings, and then now we have the flying raptor Zerglings, if you will. 
And um, Dyer's going to come in here, and he's going to do some damage. He's going to go to town on Trimaster right now. Yes. We can see one spine crawler gets taken down. Another one gets canceled, and it looks like he is free to take his opponent's natural. The question is just how is Trimaster going to reply to this? He's, you know, Dire Straits got a Baneling Nest to follow this up. His opponent doesn't even have one. And um, now we just have Raptorlings against Ordinarylings, if you will. And if we just look at the reinforcement speed for Dire Strait, it's going to be much, much higher. Both players are actually even in terms of worker count, and surprisingly even in terms of lane count right now but of course we do have some lings being turned into bane lings and that's where everything's going to make a huge difference if he lets these if these detonate it's gonna it's just not gonna be pretty there it is yeah all right so now we have just so many so many lings for dire straight a stream of lings going in against what is basically a handful right now oh boy here we go and it looks like the last bane ling is dealt with but at the same time, it was a worthy sacrifice because Dire Strait has just taken down his opponent's um, natural. So this puts his income as well as his production more than double that, double of that ahead of his opponent. Question is, you know, just can Trimaster do anything? He knows that he knows now. Basically, the one thing he has to do is all in and win. But. Um, I, I don't see that happening right now, especially with the lean count that's out there right, th right for uh, for him right now, and the baneling count. He's only just now getting his baneling nest. He's got double gas. He's teching up to layer behind all of this at the same time. He's like, okay, well I'm super behind. I need to do this if I want to win. And he's gonna have to put a tr transfuse on one of his queens. That one is of course being target fired down. And it looks like, you know, I don't think we're going to see... Yeah, he's not going to hold this. this. It's just impossible. There it is. The GG from Trimaster. Dire Strait wins. You know, ZVZ, it can be very, uh... It can be a very unforgiving matchup. I don't know how else to say it, guys, you know. But if you guys liked what you saw today, just go ahead and click on the follow button. Excuse me, the subscribe button. It should have been flashing the entire game. If not, I'm a total dolt for not integrating that button with the YouTube video. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been Breaker. I'll see you guys next time.